story is about this person. Okay. Let me put on my glasses. He looks like a human bulldog. Russian <laughs> bodybuilder. Russian. Uh, very Russia. famous in Russia. Oh. And uh, what part of his body does he build? Why does he have a Maori tattoo on his arm? That is traditional. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that is me just noticing. This is tribal artwork. That's kudos to you for realizing that it's uh, a Maori uh, descent. Yep. Yeah. Is he a neck guy? He's like, I'm a neck guy, man. I only work uh, on this. Well, part. I would like to tell you that He's in it is not a he. But you're shitting me. A she. she. Okay. I have he been saying she. that. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, women that trans transition transition into men nowadays are way more passing than the other way around. Like mm. I've I've seen like like this where you just don't even. I'll, I'll stop you right there too because she's also not transitioning. She is a woman and didn't transition whatsoever. She is just purely a bodybuilder and a powerlifter, and she just developed. Uh, her body to be this way. But never taking any supplements, no steroids. I, 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 of course I, not. Yes, I, I, I question that. Come on. No, dude, yeah, that's steroids. Those sunglasses, <laughs> give it away. <laughs> For me, it's the hairline. So when men go yeah. bald, um, mm -hmm. it's a, because easy, they have easy. excess amount of testosterone. Easy. It's nothing bad. It just means you have a lot of testosterone. I do have a lot of testosterone. Well, it means I have very low very testosterone. Low. So they say that when men, I have high T, as I say. When yes. men are going bald, it is an increased amount of testosterone. Thank you. So this Thank could you. mean that she has a very high amount, but when you go and add things like steroids or well, other yeah, substances, yeah. even when you start playing around with pre-workout and you um, mess with your levels because it messes with your hormones, you end up looking different. I know I had to cycle off of pre-workout at one point in time. Oh, shit. It messes, it really messes with our bodies and we're not supposed to be taking it. What does pre-workout do? It depends. I mean, it depends on what's what in and it. And it depends. Remember, um, if you guys worked out, Jacked was one of the pre-workouts that ended up getting banned because there was a lot of substances inside of it. I used to take Jack and I wanted to fight everybody. Damn. I used to do Four Loco as a pre-workout. That was a mistake. <laughs> You're gonna mutate you those gills you wanted. You know what I mean? You're gonna have them. No. But this I ended up just drunk fighting people. Did you? Yeah, instead of working out. Uh, but it was a good workout. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but this just, just looks like there might be some other things at play. But hey, True. if you just worked out and your testosterone levels are that high, then that's just what it is. So she still uh, identifies as a she. Yes, and okay. she made headlines recently because she was flying uh, from a city in Russia to another city in Russia, and she was stopped at the, the entrance, the, what do you call it, at the gate. And they didn't think that she matched her identity. They're like, in your passport, it says female. You're clearly not a pa uh, female. And it became an entire holdup. How dare they? And they qu started questioning her. And they get really into detail here. They, they ask her about her sexual orientation. Let me see your pussy. They, they, <laughs> like, basically everything but we up until the point of touching and, and seeing for themselves, oh, literally. Really? Yeah, they're Can I suck on your nipples? <laughs> Wait, did she not? If your nipples are hard. <laughs> but did she not look like her passport photo? Uh, Does I don't the passport, know. Is the yeah. passport photo before the weightlifting? Right. Because let's be real, if your job is to make sure that people are not using fake identities yeah. and it doesn't look like your phone, I don't look like my driver's license, but I have to say certain yeah, things I mean, because like, I don't uh, look yeah. like it anymore. That makes sense. Yeah. That's and, true. and since she's not transitioned, she's herself, if she doesn't look like her photo, rightfully you would be questioned because yeah. that doesn't make sense. Right. But if she looked like her photo yeah, and it would just say F, then I'll be like, hmm? If she yeah, fair enough, fair enough. If she doesn't look like her passport photo, I understand the questioning because that would be like somebody stealing their identity. Right. But if she looks like that, and that's what her photo looks like in her passport, Let me then they did the most. Yeah. Let me ask you this, they how did far the would you pursue then? it though? So like say, say- That ain't my job, so it ain't for me to pursue. Right. Exactly. Not, you know what true, I mean? It's not, it's not my job. I wouldn't get well, into I, having me, to do I wouldn't that. Be how about this? I wouldn't be offended if somebody's like, hey, are you a guy real quick? How about that? That's it. That's no, but it. if they're questioning your identity, if you yeah. said I yeah. am a man, sure and somebody they... looked at your picture and was like, "No, you're definitely wait, wait, a woman." Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's you guys different. Are looking at it as airport security, right? right that's yeah. what yeah. I'm saying. I'm discriminating I because she looks kind of gangster. She looks well, scared. Yeah. So it's like, what if she stole somebody's identity? Okay, that's more yeah. fair. But that's, but that's why I said if she doesn't look like her passport photo, I don't think there's anything no, wrong with this. Okay. Okay. But, but, but this dispels it. Go ahead. What if? What if she took? Her own photo, like like that, put it on another person's passport, and it says F, 
right? Mm-hmm. Then it's questionable because it's like your documents are, be, are fraudulent. It happens all the time. Right. When people come into this country, they steal passports or they sell passports that are stolen from the states. They put other people's faces on it and then they come in all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. So exactly. I'm thinking if they're being stopped by TSA, it's like, okay, yes, there might be discrimination. There might be personal like, wait, I'm curious, right? Yeah. Yeah. But also you have to take into consideration that number one, I would profile someone that looks like a gangster. Mm-hmm. Two, and they look like a Russian mobster to me, right? And then two, I would, I clearly the, the documents would be like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Are you a fugitive? And, and number three, if that if that person comes up to me and I'm like, okay, it says F here, but like obviously you look like Alex Jones. You know, I, I don't think that you're that. Yeah. Mm. And that's the difference. I don't look like my driver's license. And I know I don't because I took the photo when I was 18, was in softball season, and I was... How is this still your photo? They never told me I had to change it. So I was like, oh, forget shit. it. I look like my passport, but I don't look like my driver's license. So when I see people look at me and kind of squint and question and ask certain things, I know that I don't look like mm. it. So I'm not offended, which I'm prepared for when that happens. If this is the same case where the photo is old, she should not be quite like should not be yeah. surprised that this is being questioned. I understand because I don't look like that, but I understand it. But the if it's literally this is what it looks like on her passport. Yeah, what was that's the, different? What was the result of them trying to inquire and stuff. Like, did she end up giving the airport security a hard time, or yeah. was it that they How were way too invasive? Yeah, the what, what's her reaction? Is, the way the story is told is that she felt embarrassed. It's from her perspective, so she said she felt very embarrassed and that so funny the glasses, because the you funny picture shirt. this tough Russian gangster, and then they come out and they're like, "I'm so embarrassed right now." What her the response f- is actually like, very, yeah, very endearing and, and <laughs> kind of cute, and that she was she right, felt because you don't hurt, picture yeah. this. Exactly. Yes. She, you, we look at her and she's like, "You got, you got, you know, bulletproof skin. Yeah, yeah. You, you, nothing can ever hurt you, know, you. penetrate yeah. you that way. You do sets with your neck, bro. I, I, I yeah. fucking, what exactly. are we talking about? But yeah, basically, the airline, uh, you know, started asking very, you know, intimate questions about her. You I know, mean, I don't what think she prefers in bed. Like, like, that, see, like all I think of that if stuff is. America, yeah, if it was in no, America, this is like crossing the line of like lawsuits and stuff. Because that's why it seems like it's mockery more than actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does come off like mockery, and then that's the the end of the story is the fact that sexual preference is never something that needs to be asked when it's I when it. Do you like big dick or little dick? You like a big or dick? Big, big cock or little yeah. cock? Little one. <laughs> so you say you're women, but you look like men. But do you like men or women? If you like the anal, how come you like a bigger cock? That's so weird. That is so weird. <laughs> weird. But yeah, so the end story of this, that she has the following on, on social media. And uh, she uh, tweeted at, or uh, what if the, the Russian version of Twitter. And she got the attention of the airlines. The airlines apologized. Mm. But the damage Good. is done. Uh, story made it out, and yeah. I don't even. I think the, I'm pretty sure the reputation of the airline took a bit of a hit. That sucks. I, yeah. Honestly, they've probably been doing stuff like that. This isn't. This probably isn't anything new. We know that we're not used to that. You would never ask somebody's sexual orientation, even when it comes to their identity. Who I like and who I sleep with ain't got nothing to do with what I look like. The KGB is laughing at this shit. I know. Putin is like, there's no gay people in Russia, okay? I don't even know who this is. They're like, I don't, I've never seen this kind of undercover work ever in my life. Speaking of of, uh, nationalism, yeah, she says she competes uh, trains and competes for Russia, and she felt very hurt and backstabbed mm, by, by the fact the country was treating her this way, that especially makes sense. like government agents, right? At TSA stuff. That makes sense. So, but wow. yeah. what, what are we really expecting from them? Really, this is not shocking, but if it was here, it is oh, shocking. Yeah. Don't wear a polo, though. <laughs> Don't wear a polo. I, what do like, you have against polo shirt? No, no, no. Like, like, that looks very manly on some. I'm wearing a flannel. Do I look manly to you? You actually do. You look you butch as hell. <laughs> yeah, I think you should be chopping down trees, not being on JK News. <laughs> there we go. Why did you Why did you just so happen to say that right now? Because there's nothing sexy about it. <laughs> it's just time to chop down Turn, a tree. Turning you on was not a part of today's episode. Mm-hmm. Look, if, if you're a woman, that's your job. <laughs> Oh. It's to be turning on a man. I think we all agree on that. And I know this man thinks that. Oh, shit. Dude, is that what you think? And that's why I love him like is a brother. Is that what you think? I'm getting turned on right now. <laughs> I'm staying quiet for this one. <laughs> Tip is looking at me like she gonna take that axe and make that axe do what it do. Oh, shit. That's why I'm, I'm saying like this, because I'm like, listen, this is expected. It's expected. <laughs> the disappointment oh, is expected. I, I, feel like, I feel like we're here. You should, you know better. 
<laughs> you know better. He's staying right quiet. Now. He exactly. knows better. Because he knows what's happening later. <laughs> what's happening oh, later? No, don't what's, do she's it. gonna call don't Nikki and tell on you. I love him. Don't do it. No, she's threatening you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I, you know uh, what? My dick will make it through the chopping process. <laughs> That's true. I heard he's it was got, like he's really got long. A lot of spare. You could he's spare got like. Oh, yeah. This is a thing. No. Y'all yeah. talk about it. Oh, it's a thing that he has a big thing. No, he's got a huge car. No, yeah, what? Like, what? Pawn it off to him too. No, no. I was like, y'all talk about that very freely. I never dude. talk about dicks ever, so I don't know what you guys. Well, talk about. well you real, should more. The real person is Bart. Wanted to touch his dick hard. Yes, and that's that. Nikki that's revealed that he has a really big dick. gigantic, right. enormous. And then Bart was like, "Oh, can I touch it?" Like if it was really hard, but not soft. And then the more we say how big it is, the more uncomfortable he gets. And I was like, you know so what, Bart? So it's gigantic. Uh, so now I've embraced it, and I'm like, you know what, Bart? You could double fist it, if anything. Double fist You can't just touch it with one hand. Oh, he could put it in his mouth, too? So are we no. looking at, like, <laughs> sriracha bottle status? Just make eye contact That's not it. that big, honestly. This is what you're looking at? Oh, he said it's not that big. If we're going to play into it. He poor it's Nikki. not that wide. Oh. Hey, poor, Nikki. poor Nikki, or is, you know. By the way, not me. That's true. Or is she a true fucking cum dumpster like oh, she says right. she is? That's true. She might be like, finally, a guy that fucking fills me she, up. She really Ooh. did say that once she, she was like, you're mine. She, yeah. she saw the dick you. and she was like, that's she, the one. She chose him. Mm -hmm. It was the second time, though, not, not the first time. Ah. Because the first time I was too nervous. You had stage fright? Yeah. Big time. Happens. Cute.